An explosion traps a diver on the seabed in 999 later on one. And next in Coronation Street, boarding school. Threat, promise or privilege? In Marlon Bay this Friday, a young boy dances with death as his time runs out. I knew he was ill, but I understood this was a holiday. Not a holiday, a death sentence. He hasn't got much time left, Steve. When <laughs> life is nearly over, you can afford God, to be reckless. He has to find him, Sally. Even if it destroys somebody else. He's all I've got. There's not going to be any miracle. The search for a young runaway hell-bent on self-destruction. New Zealand's own Marlon Bay. Friday, 8.35, after Palmer's Garden Show on One. Extended security forces again prevented supporters of the rebels from getting close to the White House. Three people have been killed since the standoff began eight days ago. About a hundred MPs and their armed supporters are still inside the building. One of Britain's most notorious gangland bosses is in hospital after apparently suffering a heart attack. 59-year-old Ronnie Cray has often been warned about the health risk posed by his 100 cigarettes a day habit. Ronnie and his brother Reggie terrorised London's East End before they were sentenced to at least 30 years jail for two murders in 1969. In New York, it's not the crooks, but the crooked policemen who are causing shockwaves. While allegations of police corruption aren't new in the United States, new revelations of bribery, drugs and violence have shaken both the force and the public they serve. Every day on the streets of New York, it's cops against criminals, good guys against the bad guys. But as police corruption hearings have revealed this week, some of New York's policemen are the bad guys. I remember reaching into a, a box full of uh, cocaine and taking out two big handfuls and putting them in my pocket and walking out. The star witness, Michael Dowd, a police officer for 10 years before he was convicted on drug and racketeering charges. He and a handful of fellow officers turned into common criminals, he said, while his superiors looked the other way. There was times when I was shocked that I got away with so many of these things. What did he get away with? Burglary, for one thing. This is probably my most embarrassing thing I ever did as a police officer. While investigating... A little to make it better for us when we get older. Taking part in Giles' group is giving the Lost Boys a second chance. In the classroom and outside in the schoolyard. To find out about courses in anger management and communication skills, contact Action Education Box 8181 Simon Street, Auckland, phone 09 3099 or contact your local Citizens Advice Bureau for details of courses in your area. Next week, back to the bloke on the board, back to the kura, back to basics, then to Education Expo. That's it for Live and Learn this week. If you'd like more information about anything you've seen in this program, write to us at Live and Learn ETV, PO Box 30945, Lower Hutt. That's Live and Learn ETV, PO Box 30945, Lower Hutt. Saturday takes you outdoors next for Palmer's Garden Show. Admiring award-winning landscaping and talking with a father and son plant breeding team. We're still outdoors when we find out what's up in Don Burke's backyard. Then One World of Sport presents the DB Bitter Boxing Special, the fight between Lewis and Bruno. That's followed by rugby and horse racing today on One World of Sport.